Christy Ennis, physical therapist, certified strength and conditioning specialist, and nutritionist. And today I want to go over how to stay healthy when you have to sit at a desk all day, which is so many people out there. And it is tough, but again, I'm going to show you how you can work on that. So number one is actually changing positions frequently. And truly the recommendation is every 15 minutes, which sounds like a lot, <laughs> and it is. But all that means is that maybe you go from fabulous, wonderful posture to just shifting a little bit. And then make sure that you shift the other way. Believe it or not, sitting all day long with good posture is not good for you either. When you are in any one position for really more than that 15 minutes of time, your spine starts to get some compression on it through gravity, which you know you can't really avoid in this world. Um, and so that would be sitting and standing. So even if you have a standing desk, if you are only standing in one position, you're gonna have the same problems and then start to get pain and discomfort through some of your limbs, possibly all the way up to your head. So move around a little, shift around a little bit. It's a good thing to do. Even if you're in the middle of typing and you've got busy work day, you can still move. All right, so that brings me to the second point is moving. <laughs> because you sit a lot, during the day, and you can't just get up whenever you feel like it, usually. You need to make sure that you are getting in some extra movement whenever you can. So, that would be parking a little further away, yes, even when it's raining out. Taking the stairs instead of the elevator. And my favorite, and I do this all the time when I have to make a phone call, as long as it doesn't disturb anybody else, getting up and pacing around. That is an easy, easy way um, to actually get a little bit more movement. A smaller water bottle, no, I'm actually saying a smaller water bottle, not a bigger one, because that makes you have to get up and go refill it. Um, so those are some easier ways to get your body to move a little bit. Number three, schedule an actual lunch break. Now, that sounds like that's so simple, but how many times have you been in the middle of your day and it gets to be like three o'clock and you're like, oh crap, <laughs> I haven't eaten anything, huh? If you set an alarm on your phone, on your watch, if you want to use a post-it note, stick it right on your computer, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you take that time to eat because you need to fuel your body. Now, the other thing is you need to fuel your body in a healthy way. So it does help to pack your lunch and a few snacks that contain preferably a little bit of protein, a little bit of healthy whole grain carbohydrate and some vegetable. And make sure you have those with you because what happens if you're like, oh my God, I have half an hour, I have to eat, oh my God, I'm gonna go run to McDonald's. Ooh. Okay, and then things go downhill a little bit there. So back the night before, ready to go. Number four, keep the blood flow moving through the body. The more stagnant we are, the more stagnant our body is. Huh, makes sense, right? So it's great to just even get, like I said, <laughs> this looks kind of funny, but if you just even get a little bit of movement, so even some little heel raises up and down, even bringing those knees apart, alternating, stretching out those legs a little bit. Neck side to side, chin down towards your chest. Notice I'm not holding any stretches at this point because our body isn't loosened up and warmed up. You wanna make sure that you are doing some active mobility. With the arms, you can easily do some little shoulder circles, backwards, not forwards, because we're already forwards. So those are some easy ways to get a little blood flow going. If you've got your derma edge, I'm gonna grab real quick, with you at work, pull that out and go ahead and start using that. And again, you can do this as frequently, the same thing with the movements, as you possibly can. You really can't go wrong with gentle motion, gentle little scraping here, okay? So even every 15 minutes, if you can do that, would be really super awesome. And then lastly, this is one of my favorite tips that a patient gave me, is that every hour in work, he takes two minutes to do an exercise. So I'm gonna give you some ideas for exercises that you can do right at your desk, but that really only equals one 16 minute break in the day. So if you need to decrease it by one minute because they're gonna be mad at you for taking more than 15 minutes, then you can do that. But it's a great way to break up that position, burn a little more calories and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna stand on up. So number one would be a lunge. And then you can add a little bit of mobility work with that too. Bring those arms up, lean away. Number, I'm just gonna get this chair out of the way. We're done sitting for a moment. Number two would be a plie. So now we're getting those inner thighs a little bit. We can 
can change that into a regular squat where those feet are forward. Make sure you shift that weight back onto your heels. You can even add a little bit of arm motion. Some people might look at you a little funny, but that's okay too. Maybe they'll join in with you. Go ahead and you can go and then add a little bit of arm work by either on your chair, make sure it doesn't move like mine, or even on the wall, and do, I'm just gonna do very gentle push-ups here, and I know my form may not be great because I really don't want this chair to move right now. Pretend, okay, <laughs> keep that back flat so that you're not arching or rounding in through it. Uh, another great arm one you can do, if you've got that seat again, are some little dips. Make sure that none of these hurt, please, okay, that's really important too. Standing on up again, a little hamstring stretch. You can use that chair, okay? Bring that chest forward a little bit. And again, holding. And then you're gonna switch and do the other leg as well. Oh, snap, crumble, pop, and that's okay if that happens. Fluid's moving a little bit is what that means. Um, adding a little bit of plyometric work. <laughs> it's gonna look a little funny, but if you can do a little jumping jack, if that's too intense, even a little tap out. Adding a march, you can do kind of a little hop to it if it feels good. Otherwise, just stick with that march. Really think about engaging into those abdominal muscles. That's important. Getting back onto the chair again. If you take arms out, really think about focusing in right into the abdominals, squeezing into those shoulder blades, and then adding that rotation. Think about using those abdominals to pull you back to the middle and then rotating off to that other side. So any movement is better than no movement. So if you have some other exercises that you love, by all means, please go ahead and add those in. These are just some examples to get you started. So there you have it, some ways to keep you healthy even though you have to sit during the day. So thanks so much for tuning in today. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Share it with your friends and family because I'm sure you know somebody that has to sit a lot. And stay tuned for more.